quiet period at Old Manor Court, Manor Apartments. This is the quiet period. There's full on slab drilling taking place and there's nothing more we can do about it. I've come to dread the calming period actually more than the period in which they're allowed to make their noise. They can drill away for six hours a day, but we have to put up with this in the quiet calming period. This is life as a tenant on the Abbey Road. This is what we have to live with every day. They're actually breaking up the, the law that Westminster imposed on them during these two periods. In, 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 in the, I think it's a section 62 or a section 61, which was, which was imposed on them three weeks ago. This is being routinely broken in the quiet period, especially in the, in the afternoon period between two and four. None of us would have any objections to them working until six, but they finish at five and break into that period in the afternoon. It's a war of attrition. We have no peace. We have to go out. I'm tired of screaming from my flat, asking them to stop it and to calm down. And my flats and my cats terrified. This is how we have to live so that Bruce Ritchie can make his millions. He's got money to burn, money to burn in this block. Who has that kind of money in an age of recession and austerity? But this man has, and he can use his money as a weapon to terrorize us all into submission. This money is being made on our backs. That is full on slab drilling in flat 12, in manor apartments. In spite of a calming order, requesting them to behave and, and adhere to the calming order between two and four, they disregard it wantonly, routinely, and carry on as though it's not there. I dread the calm period more than I dread the periods of slab drilling now. This is life, this is life as we know it in Old Manor Court. The very first, the very first calming order was levied on this block, imposed on this block in 2006 by Mrs. Byrne, a lady in her 90s who couldn't take the noise any more than I could. In her flat, she had the Japanese Sword of Surrender, which, which her husband received in Burma at the end of the war. And the man, the man from the noise team had been a little boy in Burma, and somehow, that made the difference. She was an unsung hero. And, and I, 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 she, she, she died in 2010 and she's no longer here to help me. We have to live like this in fear and in dread and there's nothing we can do about it. I can't eat, I can't sleep and there's nothing, nothing can alter. Residential land and Bruce Ritchie from rolling right over us. He's not rolling over me. That is full on slab drilling. This is going to YouTube this afternoon. There is nothing we can do except let everyone know what is happening in Manor Apartments. There is nothing, nothing we can do. I go to sleep every night dreading the next morning. There is nothing, nothing we can do. We have to live like this indefinitely and there is absolutely nothing we can do. I'm going to have to go out with my placard again and have my neighbours thinking that I'm a crazy lady but that is all I can do to remedy this in the hope that local opinion can, can be mobilised and understand what is happening on the Abbey Road. I'm too upset to talk anymore there's nothing we can do. It's utterly powerless. There should be fined, there should be legislation in place so that a block like this can never be slab drilled three times in seven years. Three times in seven years, that calming order has been levied on this one residential block in Westminster. No other block has had a calming order imposed three times and there's nothing we can do to stop what's happening here. 
Every time they use that slab drill in the calming period, they should be reined in, they should be fined. But nothing is happening because there's no one to police it. I have to turn to an outside audience, outside there, for help with this problem. Because there's no help. We've done everything we can.